super fast wireless charging 10 times zoom while new premium flagship offers more of everything but should you spend 1400 euros on the phone without google services hey enjoy watching that about a month ago probably announces 2020 flagship just like apple and samsung this year their pro this now also a new higher and p40 pro plus until the thinking behind this is so that they could off without forcing other users to pay for the premium if those are not features that they really sell what extra features are on the p40 pro plus your life that your kind of think skaters subscribe and help us get to our next goal of 1 million subscribers only i'd say stick with us and watch the entire video here for an answer to one question in particular and that's okay also so this time around work adding you can use a supercharged adapter usb agency cable and a pair from this angle the p40 pro and Pro Plus look very similar I like the S20 Plus and its big brother the S20 ear case fits the P40 Pro Plus the Pro Plus however is thicker and heavier and its camera module is larger given its much more complex camera system we'll die more to that later or you can jump ahead by clicking the chapter marker over here on the outside the biggest difference between the two is the choice of build material the 40 Pro Plus is made of ceramic instead of glass material that shouldn't scratch as easily it's available in black or white White. I chose the white model because it doesn't reveal smudges as much as the black phone with my buddy Aaron talked about in his 40W wireless charging. Otherwise it's the same phone while his most recent carry 995G processor and 8GB of RAM a 6.58 inch OLED display with a 2640 by 1200 resolution and a click over to watch our exhaustive hands on video while I did say that I like this size is better even with the added thickness you are not getting a bigger battery on the P40 Pro plus it shares the same 4200mAh as our battery as the P40 Pro and in my time using the phone it lasted just as long about a day and one half on a single charge that said it does get one new feature support for 41 wireless supercharging which will deliver charging speeds that are as fast as if you were undid by guests over 50% in 30 minutes 90% after an hour and 100% in one hour 25 this be the first video on YouTube where you actually see the quality supercharged 40W mileage charge instead let's take own because the fat is really the optional wireless charge charging stand will cost you extra I think it should have just come the box VP40 Pro Plus has 5 rear camera 50 megapixel wide angle city camera 40 megapixel cultural wide angle camera 3D depth sensing camera a telephoto camera with 3 times optical zoom and a second telephoto camera with 10x optical zoom that's the most I seen on a smartphone today previously the record was 5x like on periscope to see what's inside but what do you want better by showing you this cross section of the light is bounced through five different mirrors it's amazing how much they were able to squeeze into this small phone which also makes me think shouldn't complain about this big camera but still you really need this much zoom on a smartphone lead maybe not but I can think of a few examples where that extra zoom come in handy higher state building from across the river I'm sure I would also love this much zoom that zoom so that I can get really close to the animal but even if you're just walking down the street and see a cool kitty cat and want to take a photo without scaring it away zoom is great for that also we're comparing versus the s20 ultra 10x will always trump 5x a perfect example always combined to make for a much better sharper and more detailed photo is another one of the gothic church shot from a block away moldings to the textures of the chip paint to the green wire p40 pro plus low light performance it's worth pointing out that both e telephoto lenses do not have the same large sensors and wide apertures like to find on both the ultra wide and camera low light performance is not going to be as good that also me that my phone still works and does a decent job the less satan this shot of the empire state building after dark and here's a comparison taken with the s20 ultra isn't the first time i've seen two zoom lenses on one article i think it's a good idea while he wants to keep pushing the boundaries of optical zoom on phone in this case from 5x to 10x way so that a 3x zoom lens for everyday use i will argue that to it zoom like on the iPhone 11 Pro Max is the sweet spot and explain you're at a cafe in a restaurant or so close to New York so imagine my living room is the cafe now they're like me you might find yourself sitting at a table wanting to snap a photo of your iced coffee for the grant two times makes sense both in terms of the perfect distance to shoot the photo and what you're 
able to fit into the frame, isn't so bad a little bit tighter but it still works fact like this photo shot from a different angle but imagine 5x that's too close for it to work in this mid space zoom plastering it all over the back of the truck because let's face it images shot 100x are never going to be good enough to post online unless and how managed to capture a viral moment or if you're trying to spy on your neighbors which you shouldn't be doing in the first place all that said those who like to take a lot of photos on her phone will enjoy the flexibility pro plus offers especially Especially when it comes zoom my one suggestion is that they improve the software experience making it easier to select the different zoom either I took the subway for the first time in a long time the other day a wider field of view on the s20 ultra delivers a more dramatic image as can be seen in these photos taken with my s20 ultra and then take a look at that same shot taken with the order wide angle camera of the p40 pro plus as you can see it's not wide enough there are a few new i based software features thrown in like being able to remove passers-by let me know what you think the shooting this with the quality phone and we're shooting this with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra change the lighting conditions to let me know which shot is better of course it goes without saying that low light photo performance is top notch even without night most of the P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus deliver excellent photos at night I would her sunset everything looked great during preview when the phone look at software magic brightened the photo still is great when just not what I was going for the same apply during the day. Elfie phone today because I like the way I think that because of the focal range and the way it doesn't aggressively highlight all my perfection for a rapid pitch time for some fire Q&A where I answered some of the questions you left me on social media how the user experience without its detail because Wally phones are best known for the impressive low light performance it's worth pointing out that both e telephoto lenses do not have the same large sensors and wide apertures like to find on both the ultra wide and camera low light performance is not going to be as good that also means that night we are trying to use 10x zoom image will look rather dark in the preview the good news is that my phone still works and does a decent job the less satan this shot of the empire state building after dark and here's a comparison taken with the s20 ultra is another photo taken in my bathroom with very little available like actually now that i think about it when it's really dark out i would use the 10x zoom lens without mode turned on the 10x this is the first time i've seen two zoom lenses on one article i think it's a good idea wally wants to keep pushing the boundaries of optical zoom on phone in this case from 5x to 10x way so that a 3x zoom lens for everyday use i will argue that to it zoom like on the iphone 11 pro max is the sweet spot and explain you're at a cafe in a restaurant or so close to new york so imagine my living room is the cafe now there like me you might find yourself sitting at a table wanting to snap a photo of your iced coffee for the grant two times makes sense both in terms of the perfect distance to shoot the photo and what you're able to fit into the frame isn't so bad a little bit tighter but it still works fact like this photo shot from a different angle but imagine 5x that's too close for it to work in this particular scenario i also want to take the opportunity to address zooming in as close as possible ocp 40 pro plus and the s20 ultra allow you to visually zoom up to 100x photo mode while it is wise not to talk of this feature like samsung that branding its space zoom plastering it all over the back of the truck because let's face it images shot 100x are never going to be good enough to post online unless and how managed to capture a viral moment or if you're trying to spy on your neighbors which you shouldn't be doing in the first place all that said those who like to take a lot of photos on her phone will enjoy the flexibility pro plus offers especially when it comes zoom my one suggestion is that they improve the software experience making it easier to select the different zoom option like samsung that the dispatch here to get a few preset options already published a 50 minute video on the p40 pro and not going to be spending a lot of time talking about the phone's camera suffice to say they are still some of the best if not the best in the market today take a look at more sample shots he took around the brooklyn i will say that i would love it if the order wide angle lens wider i took the subway for the first time in a long time the other day wider field of view on the s20 ultra delivers a more dramatic imagine this scene or better yet let's take this example from my buddy michael fish video phone he didn't invite me to go on that photo walk with him simply steer his ID
inconvenience but not a deal breaker between the app gallery Amazon App Store and Apart Pure able to get most of the apps I need if you want a lengthier answer in point link my make success review up here and in the description below can you get you to not buy an app that usually works in a browser rose or broke want to see you like that I can grow and even if I wanted to but here's a rendering from one faith that was still a thing okay time to bring it it is the quality p40 pro plus you're at if you're looking for the best camera on a smartphone today P40 Pro Plus is your best bet from awesome cell thesis is solid daytime photos to unmatched low light performance being able to zoom in the furthest P40 Pro Plus is an all around but you need to ask yourself am I willing to live in convenience of not having people play services out of the answer is yes go right ahead but is the 400 euros premium of the Pro Plus over the Pro model or that I personally think that the P40 Pro is a better value even if an Apple and a 512. GB11 Pro Max will cost you about the say that said 10 times. Optical zoom is something you can't find anywhere else and super fast wireless charging is an offering only a handful of phones can manage and that's what this phone is all about like qualities foldable make success it's a showcase of all the amazing taxi company is capable of a foretaste of what might eventually trickle down to other models in about 6 months to a year and a slice of what Americans are missing because of this the trade and that was our quality P40 Pro Plus review you like videos just like this one make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.